Can I help you with something? Why are you in my vehicle? I didn't give you um, permission to search anything. You ran dog, dog in the cage. There's nothing in my car. They are searching my vehicle without permission. My vehicle is being searched without consent. I'm a disabled veteran, and they're accusing me of having marijuana in my vehicle. I'm a 100% disabled veteran of the United States Army who served honorably. My vehicle is being searched without my consent. I just walked out of subway. There's no blue lights on. There's no sirens going. No one told me that I was um, being pulled over. Nothing. You can arrest me. I got marijuana to arrest me. No, yes you can. You can do whatever you got to do. Arrest me because I'm going to take this as far as I can take it. Where's the weed? You see all that f***ing dirt down there, y'all? Look at the dirt. Look at all that f***ing dirt. Who's going to call it What's fucking that? weed? That is dirt. Grass. From the f***ing ground, idiot. You stupid. Test it. See, I told you they going to do that bullshit. Uh-huh, they weren't ready for me today. They weren't ready today. Here we go, y'all. I'm gonna make this officer live. Here we go, he gonna be famous today. That's right, I'm on one. Y'all hold on a second, he's outside, he's waiting for me, so I, I, I'm gonna catch him on camera. He don't know I'm, I'm live. Give me a second. He hasn't, he hasn't um, turned his lights on. He has not placed me under arrest or anything. It's not a traffic stop. He's about to harass me. Just wait, y'all about to see. I'm at the subway on Wayne Memorial Drive. So if anything happens to me, y'all, I'm at the subway on Wayne Memorial Drive. The office is outside. Those are police officers. I don't know if you can see the vehicle, but he's out there. He's behind my vehicle and he's waiting for me to come outside. He has not initiated a traffic stop or anything. I have not done anything wrong. Can I help you with something? Why are you in my vehicle? I didn't give you um, permission to search anything. You ran the dog, dog in the cage. There's nothing in my car. Um, why am I, uh, hold on, am I being detained? There's marijuana residue right here. There's no marijuana residue in my vehicle, sir. I don't, I don't smoke marijuana, no sir. No sir. No sir. No sir. Uh, see, I told y'all they were gonna do this. Here we go. Here we go, y'all. I'm live on Facebook. Am I free to go? Or am I being detained? Well, considering dog hit on your car, and there's marijuana in your car tonight. Okay, they said I got marijuana, y'all, and they are lying. <laughs> I'm live on Facebook, somewhere in Goldsboro, North Carolina. Live on Facebook. Here we go. I'm going to step back into the light so they can't say I'm trying to threaten them or do anything but harm. They are trying to do something to harm them. They are searching my vehicle without permission. My vehicle is being searched without consent. What is the name, officer, and what is the badge number? Caps. Caps? 697. Okay, what is the other one? I need the other one. My vehicle is being searched without permission. Graham and I'm not sure what his badge number I'm talking about. Okay, I need his badge number and his ID. I will be filing the complaint. Okay. Yes, sure will. First thing in the morning. Okay. First thing in the morning. Am I free to go or am I being detained? I already told you. No, you haven't told me anything. I told you twice. You didn't tell me if I was detained or am I free to go. That's what I asked you. If you am I being detained or am I free to go? Do you want to listen? Am I being detained or am I free to go? If you listen, I'll listen, I'll talk to you. Am I being detained or am I free to go? Why am I being detained? Because the dog indicated on your car There's no marijuana in my vehicle. He's already found marijuana. No, he, no, he has not. You a damn lie. I'm calling you a lie on Facebook Live okay. that's to fine. your face that's fine. because you are lying. If that's what you want to say. That's dirt on the floor. You a fucking lie. Okay. You got me fucked up. You got me fucked up. I told y'all they were gonna do this bullshit. I knew it. Talking about marijuana. He's searching my vehicle without consent. My vehicle is being searched without my consent. My vehicle is being searched without my consent. My vehicle is being searched without my consent. I just walked out of Subway. There's no blue lights on. There's no sirens going. No one told me that I was um, being pulled over. Nothing. My vehicle is being searched without my consent. Everybody share this fucking life. I've been waiting for some shit like this. Share it. I'm a disabled veteran and they're accusing me of having marijuana in my vehicle. I'm a 100% disabled veteran of the United States Army who served honorably, honorably, you said army. Ar army, honorably. 
How long do you serve? None of your business. I serve honorably. Okay, I'm just asking how long do you serve? It doesn't matter. I was going to say I appreciate you serving. No, well, I don't appreciate you stopping me right here. That's what I'm telling you. Well, without I, consent, without we'll any, part, without right? anything going on, I haven't done anything part, wrong. Right? We'll part, right? But now you're trying to make things up. But I got you on, I got you on live. I got you on live, bro. I, really I got you on live. I got you on live. Fuck your dog and fuck you. Oh shit, I ain't done nothing. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I'm a law-abiding citizen, a disabled veteran. What you carrying? Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm a law-abiding citizen. I like, I like looking, though. I'm glad you carry it. Don't worry about it. Out. I'm not going to talk to you about anything. Okay. But I'm going to start a complaint about this shit. My vehicle's being searched without my consent. I'm doing a fucking delivery with Instacart. How do you get marijuana from Instacart? What the fuck? What is that? I ain't heard that before. Well, you, don't, is you, you like live on the rock. Like Shut up. I don't want to talk to you. Okay. Shut up. Because you on some bullshit. Y'all already on that bullshit. You ain't got no mask on or anything. COVID going around, he's trying to kill me. Nope, you ain't got, oh, where's the cameras? I want to say a camera view. That's right. Okay, I've been recording since I was inside because I've been watching you and listening to you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh huh, one step ahead. <laughs> what is your name and badge number? What is your name and badge number? Officer Graham, 816. All right, I'm going to be starting to against both of you. Okay, have a good day. You can have a good day. You can have a good day. Where's the marijuana you found? You said, Where is the marijuana? Where is the marijuana? Let me see it. And arrest me. I got marijuana. Arrest me. I arrest you for no, yes, you can. You can do whatever you got to do. No, arrest no. me because I'm going to take this as far as I can take it. Where's the weed? You see all that fucking dirt down there, y'all? Look at the dirt. Look at all that fucking dirt. You can call it fucking weed. That is dirt. Grass. From the fucking ground, idiot. You have stupid. Test it. Test it, idiot. You're good to Test go. it. Like, I ain't going to go, go nowhere. You, okay. you have a good day. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get my food. Okay, I'm gonna follow you in. You're gonna have fun tonight. You're gonna get some food. Come in. Where is this? See, I told them they're gonna do that bullshit. Uh huh, they weren't ready for me today. <laughs> they weren't ready today. Here we go, y'all. I'm gonna make this officer live. Here we go, he's gonna be famous today. That's right. I'm on one. They said I had marijuana, which is a fucking lie. I'm a disabled veteran, 100%. I serve this country honorably. Something he has not done, I guarantee you. Yeah. I guarantee you that. He hasn't no, done it. Don't worry about it. Y'all have good night. Yeah, go ahead and leave, you coward. I can say what I want to say. It's a free country. But I do appreciate your service, no matter All what. All right. I don't appreciate you doing what you just did. Make sure you pull in the party spot next time. Too, Whatever. Have a good night. You too, man. Be careful out there, all right? You too. Y'all see that f***ing bullshit? So a citizen is out driving around, making deliveries, trying to make some honest money. He pulls into a parking lot and parks his car alongside the curb next to a store so he could run in real quick, pick up the order, and go on to make his delivery. But as soon as he walked inside, K-9 officer Hunter Graham with the Goldsboro Police Department took it upon himself to get out and run his dog around the man's unoccupied vehicle without any reasonable suspicion for doing so. The canine officer didn't conduct a proper traffic stop, he didn't stop to talk to the citizen first, and the officer never announced himself as an officer of the Goldsboro Police Department. Instead, canine officer Hunter Graham watched a citizen exit his vehicle, go inside a place of business, and then decided to run his canine around the citizen's unoccupied vehicle without his knowledge and without ever announcing himself. When the canine officer realized he made a mistake and didn't find anything in his search, he decided to point out some dirt mixed with grass on the man's floorboard and made an unsubstantiated claim that it was marijuana residue. The officer never ran a field test on what he claimed to be marijuana residue, and he didn't bag any of it up as evidence. At the end of the day, this was clearly just another default excuse they used to fall back on after realizing they couldn't find anything to get the man in trouble for. Some may brush it off as just an honest mistake, but the fact of the matter is these sort of police encounters are very intentional, and they've been going on for decades all over the country. 
In 2005, the Supreme Court ruled that walking a canine around a citizen's vehicle during a lawful traffic stop, so long as it doesn't reveal any other information than the potential location of an illegal substance, does not violate the Fourth Amendment. And in 2013, the Supreme Court ruled that a police department only needs to prove that their dog has successfully completed a training program for a court to be able to trust the dog's alert and accept it as probable cause for a search without violating the Fourth Amendment. But even a simple Google search will show endless results of reports and studies exposing a high amount of false alerts and substantially low accuracy rates from these canine searches. A study conducted by the Illinois Department of Transportation found that from the years of 2007 to 2009, accuracy rates were as low as 32% for canine searches. One specific canine from Illinois named Lex was reported to have alerted for narcotics 93% of the time during roadside searches, but was wrong more than 40% of the time. A Supreme Court ruling said that the dog's overall accuracy rate was not much better than a coin flip. In 2010, a researcher published a study that tested the abilities of certified police canines to track down and find hidden targets with a scent. But what the canine handlers didn't know is that they were being tested too. The canine handlers were led to believe that there were targets with a specific scent hidden in the area they were searching, when in fact there were none at all. In total, their dogs gave 225 false alerts for contraband in a room where there was none, further suggesting that these certified canines sometimes react to signals from their human handlers and not just from what they smell. Sadly, this isn't a new issue. As I said before, this has been going on for decades all over the country. A high school student in New Mexico was the victim of a false alert from a drug-sniffing canine who made rounds in the student parking lot every day sniffing for contraband. But the real issue here was that this particular canine also had a very poor accuracy rate, having been recorded as giving false alerts to drugs 71 out of 72 times. Despite those embarrassing numbers, the high school still relied on the canine, and they removed the student from class after it alerted on her car. Officers conducted a search, but it was found the student had no drugs and nothing illegal. Her parents eventually sued the school district, and they agreed to stop using the canine. In 2012, a citizen of Hidalgo County, New Mexico, was anally searched after a false alert from a police canine, but the citizen was found to have no drugs and nothing illegal. The same thing happened again the next year in 2013. A 63-year-old man in Hidalgo County, New Mexico, was stopped and searched after a police canine falsely alerted to drugs. Police eventually obtained a search warrant, handcuffed the citizen, and drove him an hour away to a hospital where he was x-rayed and subjected to multiple anal searches. But just like before, the citizen was found to have no drugs and nothing illegal. And believe it or not, later that same year, New Mexico police did it again for a third time, violating a female citizen so graphically I can't even describe it on this video. And if that still doesn't convince you, let's take a look at this case from 2014 of an off-duty police officer from California named Ronnie Hankins, who was stopped while driving out of state for an alleged traffic violation. Ronnie and his wife were driving across country, coming back from his grandfather's funeral, when they were targeted by a gang of police officers in Tennessee searching for cash. Ronnie's wife refused to give permission for police to search their car, so they brought out a canine to see if the dog would alert to give them probable cause for a search. Within seconds, the dog sat down next to the driver's side of the car, signaling that something had caught his attention. But according to Ronnie, there's no doubt in his mind that those canine officers signaled their dog to sit and give an alert. 100%, there's no doubt in my mind. They cued that dog. Remember, this is a police officer saying this. When agents couldn't find anything, they wrote up this report to justify the dog's alert, saying they found marijuana debris on both the driver and passenger floorboards. Does that sound familiar to anyone? Remember the cop from the beginning of this video did the same thing. That is dirt! Grass! From the ground, idiot! 
Dash cam footage from the stop shows the canine officer kept his hands to himself while walking the dog around the passenger side, but as soon as he walks the dog around the driver's side of the car, you notice the officer points at the spot the dog eventually alerted to, before the dog ever sat down, essentially giving his canine a signal to sit and make it look like he gave an alert. The cops ended up searching Ronnie's car, but they found no cash, no drugs, and nothing illegal. Remember, Ronnie Hankins is a police officer himself, and it even happened to him. In an interview, Ronnie said that as a police officer, he knew his rights, but that still couldn't protect even him from what he believes was an illegal search stemming from a false alert given by a canine. According to public records from 2018 to 2020, a police canine named Karma from Republic, Washington reportedly gave an alert indicating the presence of drugs 100% of the time. It didn't matter whether the person's car was filled with drugs or if it was completely empty, the Republic Police Department gained access to every citizen's vehicle that dog ever sniffed. Local, state, and federal agencies have raked in more than $68 billion in proceeds since the year 2000 through a process known as civil asset forfeiture, which is essentially just a huge money-making scheme that allows the government to take and keep your cash solely based on the suspicion that it's drug money, even without a criminal conviction. And it usually always starts with the police conducting a search which requires them to have either a warrant or probable cause, which oftentimes comes in the form of a canine giving an alert. Lastly, I want everybody to take a look at this video from Barry Cooper of NeverGetBusted.com. Barry Cooper used to be one of the nation's top drug enforcement police officers. In this video, Barry shows a perfect example of how police officers can give signals to their dogs in order to manufacture a false positive alert. That's called a false positive. There are no substances there at all, and the canines indicate. It's clear and plain to see there are no narcotics there. Now watch, she'll continue getting the dog to alert, talking the dog into alerting. Remember this, it is not the dog's fault. It is not the dog actually lying. It's the narcotic detector dog handler. Until police departments acknowledge and make changes to the numerous flaws and inaccuracies in some of their procedures and with these canine searches, traffic stops like these will keep popping up into the future and thousands of innocent people will continue to be deprived of their liberties for doing nothing wrong. If you'd like me to review or share one of your videos or a video you've seen before, you can send me an email to tapinwithtito at gmail.com. My email and all links to my social media accounts are listed in the about section on my YouTube channel. If you like my work, make sure to like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But now you're trying to make things up. But I got you on. I got you on live. I got you on live, bro. I got you on live. I got you on live. Fuck your dog and fuck you.